Hello and welcome back to JPP Japan's Perfect Pens. This is Richard speaking and today we have another pen review. Now this pen review is going to be a little bit different because this is the first Nakaya pen review on this channel. This is my Nakaya which I ordered back in January of 2021 and it's finally arrived so we're going to do an unboxing and review. This is a Nikaya Bamboo Woods in long cigar shape, 70 millimeters. This is a 2021 pen and it's just arrived. So here we have the box and it comes with an envelope. So just the envelope, inside are some instructions on the pen, the invoice, and it's done in very nice quality paper. And now if I put that away, Let's have a look at the box. So we have a very high quality packaging here that covers the Paulonia wood box. The Paulonia wood is the same type of wood also used for the Namiki pens which I purchased. It's very similar. So I'll just open this. The Paulonia wood is very lightweight and it's used in Japan because it also maintains a nice level of humidity. So they recommend storing pens inside these boxes for long periods of time, just because Orishi depends on the right humidity. Now the script on the front of the pen says it is a Nikaya pen, a fine writing instrument, and there is the company logo in black and a stamp in red. And it's a nice box. So if I open it, let's have a look what's inside. So, here you see it. Here is a kimono, inside which is a pen, and we have a platinum converter here. And it also comes with a pack of platinum blue-black ink cartridges. So, let's have a look at this. It is quite firmly held in place here. It's not going to be rattling around, so I just have to stretch this red band a little bit and the pen will come out just like this. Here we go. Okay, that's not going anywhere. It's nice and firm. Here is the kimono. Doing beautiful blue and gold. It's very nice, very elegant. Okay, very exciting now. So, I'll undo this. It's quite nicely held there. Let's take a first look at what is inside. So there's some yellow lining to the kimono. And let's see the pen. So here it is. There it is. Oh, this is very nice. Okay, so this is the bamboo woods design on long cigar shape. That is very nice indeed. Okay, let's tell you a little about it. So this is a 17 millimeter long cigar. The 17 millimeter means it's a broader, larger diameter than the pens usually have otherwise. Cartridge converter pen, it's an ebonite pen with Urushi. It's just under 17 centimeters long. The barrel diameter is 17 millimeters, section diameter is about 13 millimeters, and it weighs 38 grams. It has a single tone, 14 karat gold and a kaya nib, which we'll have a look at in a bit. So let's take you round how the pen actually looks. So the motive on the pen is that you have the bamboo leaves on the cap, which is the left hand side here. And you have a few leaves on the right and you have the stems, the trunks of the bamboo on the right hand side with some piles of fallen leaves at the far right hand end which is the bottom of the pen. So as I move around you can see that some of the leaves are in high definition, some of them are quite dim and the same with the bamboo trunks. Some of them stand out quite strongly, some of them are much darker. Now this is achieved using the Tame Sugashi technique. Now what this is, is Urushi is applied to the pen and then the details which are the bamboo wooden leaves is painted on with a silver mix and then light brown translucent Urushi is put over the top of the silver making it look gold. And they do this layer over layer and each time they have to let the Urushi harden in a cabinet. So what that means is the first 
details painted in silver, the first leaves have multiple layers of Arushio over the top of them, so they get darker and darker and darker into the background, and every time a new layer is applied, more leaves and more bamboo stems are drawn out, which means the final leaves and the final bamboo stems are the ones which are brightest. They're closest to the surface, they have the least Arushio at the top, and that's what gives us the effect of some being close and bright and some being further away and dark. Now what that also means is it has to be very carefully and deliberately constructed. So the artist has to have a very clear idea of which stems and which leaves are going to be in the background and have multiple layers of Urushi over the top of them and which are going to be in the foreground and have the least Urushi over the top. And you can see a large difference in the look. The bright orange gold colour is the silver with only a little bit of Urushi over the top of it, the brown Urushi, and then you can see here at the bottom, some of those leaves have quite a few layers and they're really quite dark. Now let's have a look at the nib of the pen. So if I unscrew the section here, and you can see there is some of the Urushi and some more detailing on the section with the gold powder and some more leaves. And here is the nib I chose. Now I chose a single tone, soft, medium Nikai nib. Nikai have all sorts of different nib options. Let's just turn it around. You can see quite an elegantly shaped nib feed there as well. Now, the nib itself, as I mentioned, a Nakaya soft medium nib, 14 karat gold, 55 steps to create according to Nakaya, and between 0.4 and 0.5 millimeter line width. Now, the single tone is because I think that fits better with the color scheme of the pen and soft medium because this was my first Nakaya and I already have a platinum medium, which is a little bit hard for me. So I wanted to try the soft version of essentially what should be a very similar nib and see what the differences were. So as I hold this, the first thing I notice is it's got a lovely balance and it's nicely large. Now I do like large pens. I greatly prefer writing with them. However, it's quite a light pen as well. Now in terms of how large it is, here it is next to a whole load of other large Japanese pens. Starting on the left, that's a normal size Yukari, followed by a custom 742, a Yukari Royale. Here is a Platinum Izumo, which is probably the closest. Here's the Nikaya, and then here are four rounded Cap Namiki Emperors, which are bigger, and then the two at the end are the flat Cap Namiki Emperors, which are even larger still. But the 17mm long cigar is a pretty big pen. It is not quite, but nearly as large as the Namikas on the right, and it is a good deal larger than the Yukari Real and the standard size on the far left of the diagram. So that's just to give you a frame of reference for how big this pen is. Now, I want to compare it to this Platinum Izumo, which I've also reviewed on this channel, because I think it's the closest comparison. The 17 millimeter long cigar is longer, but it's quite similar width throughout the pen. Obviously they're made by essentially the same company, Platinum and Nikaya. The nibs are very similar, and both pens use Tamanuri Orishi, which is going to become more translucent over time. So in the case of this Azumo, it's going to become more red over time. In the case of this Nakaya Bamboo Woods, the bamboo is going to become stronger over time. It's going to come up towards the front of the pen, it's going to become lighter over time and use as the Urushi becomes more translucent. And I love that effect. I talked about it before on the Izumo review, but I love the idea that the way I use the pen will change the look of the pen. So here they are side by side, and you can see that the section diameters are nearly the same. The bamboo woods is a bit bigger. The length of the barrel is significantly different, however, and the nibs are very similar in size. They're not quite the same shape, they're slightly different from each other. The Izumo, of course, uses a Platinum President nib. The Nakaya, it's about the same, but it's quite a different writing experience, as I'll talk about in a minute. So that's the pen. The other thing I should mention is you see the gold powder here. The gold powder is right at the bottom of the pen. I think that was the first thing they used before they put any more 
of the silver over the top of it. So the gold powder is quite dark on the pen and it's used just to fill in the dark spaces and to give it a bit more texture and depth. So everyone always asks me for writing samples of the emperors which I review and I don't get to write with most of them. Here we go with the Nekaya. This being my pen. So Nekaya Bamboo Woods. So maybe you can hear this. It sounds like writing with the Platinum Azuma. It sounds like writing with a pencil. This is a 2021 pen. Yeah, it sounds like it has a lot of feedback, but the feedback is audible, um, audible rather than tactile. It doesn't feel like it has as much feedback as the Izumo does. So it sounds similar, but it feels smoother to actually write. So the sound is a little bit inconsistent with the feel of it. So 17 millimeters long cigar. And it's a soft medium. So what I've done is I've put in the ink cartridge that came with the pen. Usually I'd go for something with a bit more lubrication. Um, I'm into my Iroshizuku inks, but I wanted to put in the stuff that came with the pen just to show it off this first time. And I think it's not that wet with this ink. So I think I can probably tease out a tiny bit of skipping if I really hold it lightly on this paper. Um, my paper's perhaps had a little bit of humidity on it, so it's not perfect at the moment. I think I can probably just about tease out some skipping. So platinum, blue, black ink. And let me see how lightly I can write. I just want to show you the line variation, but see if I can... There you go. Yes. There you go. Just very, very light to get that. And then normal, normal pressure, plenty of ink, and then more pressure, some variation, because the nib is quite soft. And then the back of the nib. Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, so... I'm going to say this is medium wetness. I actually like it quite wet, so I'll use a different ink on this, I think. So let's try out a pangram. This is my favorite. Sphinx. Black. Judge my vow. There you go, just a tiny bit. So, usually, of course, what I do is I'll take a pen and I'll give it a very good clean. So, Nakai did tell me that they would test the pen before sending it to me, and it did take quite a few days in air transit. So, they said to me it might need a bit of a clean when it arrived, but I was just too excited, so I put in a in cartridge straight away. <laughs> So I'll find out over time. I suspect that's just because it needs a little bit of a clean and then a more lubricant ink and then there will be no issues whatsoever. It seems to be writing very nicely. So let's talk a little bit about the aesthetic of it. So Nakaya like to make these beautifully colored pens. And this is very different to the Macchio work, which I usually review in the Namikis. And the main difference, I think, is that Namiki will choose a design and then create that design for several years, whereas Nakaya have very many designs. And therefore, I think when the artist is making this pen, this artist is not making 10 of this pen at the same time. They might be making possibly two, but even this one, I customized it by asking it to be made in 17 millimeter long cigar, which isn't the shape of the pens as they appear on the website. So I don't think the artist is doing 10 of these pens at the same time and drawing 10 bamboo sets of leaves in the same places, then moving on to the next pen, which is the normal way of doing Macchio work. So it is going to be a little less efficient in churning out as many identical pens 
and that'll be one of the reasons why this pen ordered in January arrived in late September. It would have taken a long time to make because it's not being standardized, even including the normal amount of drying time for the Urushi. And I think every pen like this will be quite different from each other. They'll have leaves in different places, the bamboo will be in different places, and again, that's very unlike the Namiki Makie, where it's extremely consistent with just a couple of tiny variations between pens. So overall, I think it is a absolutely beautiful design, and I'm really happy with it so far. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review. That was my first look at it. I think I need to spend a few months writing with it, which I usually do before I develop a really firm opinion over using the pen. But in the meanwhile, this is my new toy, so I'm going to have a great time getting used to it. And I hope you enjoy the, re the first impressions and the unboxing review. So have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.